Hiya, babe. Say, how about a little... Ouch! Does that answer your question, buddy? The Adventures of Maisie, starring Ann Southern. You all remember Metro Golden Mayor's famous Maisie picture. In just a moment, you'll hear Maisie in radio, starring the same glamorous star you all went to see and loved on the screen, Ann Southern. But first, your announcer. Southern as Maisie. Yep. I'm like the man said, Maisie Revere from Brooklyn. By profession, I'm a chanteuse. That's French for singer, you know. Right now, I'm between engagements. That's an expression in show business that means if something don't happen real soon, I'll starve to death. Well, this morning, I was making the rounds of agents' offices, and I got a couple of offers. One of them was even for a job. <laughs> And then I chanced on a big war surplus company with a sign out, Help Wanted. And inasmuch as a job is a job, I opened the door. And I walked up to the man at the personnel window. <laughs> I had to eat. And I wasn't one of them choosy chan choosies. Yes, miss, what can I do for you? I'll take it. You take what? The job. How much does it pay? Oh, you mean our sign on the window? Yeah. Of course, I really don't expect it to be in my line. I'm a singer, you know. Well, I'm sorry, miss. We're not putting on any singers this week. But we are short of help. What kind of other work do you think you can do? Yes. I mean, what do you have experience at? Oh, well, what's open? Well, we can use a typist, comptometrist, sonographer, bookkeeper, billing clerk, lithograph operator. Well? Keep going. I'll tell you when you come to it. Am I getting warm? <laughs> not even close yet. But there must be something. Look, miss, all we take care of here is war surplus. Oh, then I... you ought to take care of me. I'm war surplus. Y you are? Yeah. I used to be a whack. Well, I'm sorry, Sergeant, but I'm afraid there's really nothing that we can... Gee, I, I drove an ambulance and trucks. Say, maybe you can use a truck driver. A, a truck driver? But you're a woman. Yeah, but women have stomachs, too. Or haven't you been down to the beach lately? But, and but... during the war, I drove trucks all over Europe and Africa. During bombardments, too. But, miss, this isn't Africa. This is Los Angeles. Oh, that's all right. I'm used to danger. I'm sorry, but it's impossible. Women truck drivers, it just isn't being done. Yeah, sure. Of course, during the war, women drove taxis, ambulances, trucks. But now that it's all over, you're right. It can't be done. Well, so long, chum. Sorry I took up your time. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Gee, why don't you look where you're going? Oh, I'm very sorry, miss. Here, here let me help you up. Thanks. Oh, gee. I, oh, look, your elbow, it's all scraped. Oh, well, that's oh. all right. I got too much skin anyway. Oh, gosh, maybe you're killed. I mean, hurt. I, I mean, maybe you better sit down. Well, now, maybe. calm down, uh, fella. Uh, you're all excited. Oh, oh, I, I, I can't help it. You, you see, I'm going to have a baby. You are? <laughs> Well, then maybe you'd better sit down. Oh, thanks. Oh, I mean, my wife's going to have a baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it could be tonight. The baby, I mean. You know how it is. Well, no, I'm single. Oh. That's why I've got to be there I, to take her to the hospital. My wife. It's my first, you know. Your first wife? No, baby. Oh. <laughs> it costs a lot of money, and I can't afford to lose it. The baby? No, my job. Oh. Right. I drive a truck, you know. Didn't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. For this company, I work nights. Mm -hmm. That's when they're always delivered, aren't they? Trucks? No, babies. Oh, uh, I should have known. Yeah, gosh, I, I, I shouldn't tonight. I shouldn't because I got a feeling that it's going to happen. But the money, I'm afraid to tell them, but I, I must. Mustn't I? Huh? Don't you think? 
Well, uh, l- look, you'd better start from the beginning. I, uh, I think maybe I missed something. You, 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 oh, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm Charlie Pilsudski. How do you do? I'm Maisie Revere. Oh, how do you do? Well, not very well. I try to get a job here driving a truck. You, you, oh, you drive a truck, but you're a woman. I know it and you know it, but does the truck? Look, I drove practically everything on wheels all over Europe. You, gosh. Say, maybe... Yeah? No, it's crazy. Yeah, crazy. Hey, but on the other hand... Yeah, on the other hand. It won't work. No, it won't work. Huh? But I just gotta take the chance. Maisie, will you do it? Sure. <clears throat> do what? Take over tonight's run to Frisco. Oh, the dough ain't much. Well, my stomach don't hold much. Oh, it'll be a big favor, Maisie. I begged off two runs this week already, and if, if I tell the boss I can't make it tonight again because my wife's time is getting too close and I ought to be with her just in case... They'd fire you, huh? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and jobs ain't easy to get. So I've heard. Okay, Charlie, I'll get your truck to Frisco. You'll still have your job. Your wife can have the baby and... Uh. Uh-uh. Oh, you're not backing out, are you, Maisie? No, but how am I going to get the truck past the checker tonight? You'll notice I'm a woman. I got it. I'll wear a sweater. A, a sweater? Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Hey, well, don't you worry about that, Maisie. You just be at the loading platform at 11.30 tonight, But huh? the checker... Oh, Bill Hendricks is a friend of mine. He'll keep his eyes and mouth closed. I'll have the truck all loaded and ready for you to take off in a hurry. Good. I'll be there on time, Charlie. Oh, good. And I'll get that truck to Frisco for you right on time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, only one thing. Yeah? You're a woman, and if a cop should stop you driving a truck without a license, how will you get out of it? <laughs> Don't you worry about that, Charlie. Like you say, I'm a woman. <laughs> It is easy loading that loot on the truck, Lefty, and keep it quiet. What you so jumpy about, Pete? Oh. I took care we won't be this time. Come on, come on. Let's get the rest of this stuff in the truck. I promised Shirley I'd be back in time to give her another lesson on picking locks. <laughs> She's ambitious, that girl of mine. My model's the same. Yeah. Wants me to let her do one of these warehouse jobs, but I keep telling her the boss won't go for it. Yeah, my Shirley's the same about that. But I keep telling her to stay home, read her comic books. You know, improve her mind. Yeah, education's a wonderful thing. Yeah. Hey, come on, I'll stop mourning about your girl. Let's get this load loaded. Now keep your shade on, will you? We ain't do it to rent this bus until 1230. Yeah, but it's 20 miles to the turnpike road in black. You don't like to be kept waiting. Gaze yeah, impatient. Yeah, there ain't gonna be much room for any more stuff in here. <laughs> Charlie loaded it pretty full. Do to Charlie? Who's Charlie? Charlie Pilsudski, the guy with drives this here load. Oh, yeah. I seen his name on a license when I checked the gas hey, gauge. Hey. Duck Lefty. What's up? Quick, under the truck. With me. A cop. Where? Out there on the street corner. Under the light. Quick, quick. Under here. Uh, I kind of thought this was working out too good to last. Now we ain't going to be able to meet Blackie on schedule. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet. We'll have to lay here till he goes. And where do you think you're going, miss? Oh, uh, oh, good evening, officer. I- it's a nice night, ain't it? Answer the question, miss. Oh, sure. It is a nice night. I, I mean, where are you going? Oh, well, I, um, I have to wait for my boyfriend in that truck. He, um, he, uh... Yes? He, uh... He, he, <laughs> and what's so funny? He, uh, well, uh, uh, he ain't there yet. You see, he's driving all the way to Frisco, and I'm bringing him a change of clothes. It's in that suitcase? Yeah. He's a very snappy dresser, you know. He must be. There's a bit of lace sticking out of there. Oh, well, um, that's mine. You see, I'm going with him. We're uh, getting married. Uh, so long, officer. Uh, well, it ain't safe for a girl to be waiting around in a dark alley all by herself. I'll just keep you company till he gets here. Oh, well, that won't be necessary, officer. I'll, I'll drive by his house and pick him up. Oh, oh you drive a truck? Why is everybody so amazed? Well, do you have a license? Well, sure I have, officer. You can't get married without one. I mean, do you have a license to drive a truck? No, but gosh, Charlie and me, we just got to get married. You see, um, I'm running away from home. I'm sorry, miss, but you got to have a license to drive a truck. We still have laws in this city. 
Uh, well, you see, my father don't want me to marry him because he's an Irishman. Oh, I see. And what's wrong with Irishmen? Nothing, but my father... Well, come along, young lady. I'm going to see that you get in that truck and pick up your fella. Yeah, your old man sure has a nerve trying to prevent you from finding true happiness with the son of old Aaron. Oh, thank you, officer. Yes, come along now. Can't keep the groom waiting. Oh, you lucky girl. He's coming up to the truck. Yeah. And he's got a thing with him. Yep. You just put down the rug. They're getting too close for comfort. I got to... Quiet, quiet. And keep down under here. Yeah, but she's getting in a truck. I suppose she drives it off. We'll be caught here oh, with her. You, 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 you dope. Whoever heard of a dame driving a truck, you snoop. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, for a minute there, I was worried. Well, goodbye, Officer, and thanks. Oh, forget it, miss. Just save me a piece of the wedding cake. I will, Officer. Just as soon as we're Mr. and Mrs. Charles Pilsudski. Sure. Pilsudski? I thought you said your boyfriend was Irish. Oh, did I say Pilsudski? I meant old Pilsudski. Old Pilsudski? But that's he's an Irish. Goodbye, Officer. Come back here. Come back here. Petey, don't look now. But some dames can drive trucks. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we got to run for Get you. your hands up. Get them up there. Now, wait a minute, officer. You're making a mistake, officer. If I am, I'll hate myself in the morning. Well, 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 look who it is. It's Lefty and Pity Boy. Are you still specializing in robbing warehouses, sir? Eh? Look, officer, we didn't do nothing. Well, don't worry me, boys. From now on, you'll be doing plenty about ten years. And so will little Goldilocks. Goldilocks? The cute little trick that's working with you. Yes, she won't get very far with that stolen truck. The Adventures of Maisie, starring Ann Southern, will continue in just a moment. Enchanted evening, I'll say. Hi, fella. Looking for a lift? I sure am, mister. Say, hey, you're a girl. Oh, what a pretty wet girl was that. Yeah. When the Chamber of Commerce had come to California and soak up the sunshine, they weren't kidding. Hop in. Don't mind if I do. Whew. There. Oh, it sure feels good to sit down again. My feet sure thank you for this, Mac. <laughs> Don't let the mustache fool you, honey. It's just grease. The name's Maisie. Maisie Revere. Oh, I'm Helen O'Rourke. O'Rourke? <laughs> so you're Irish. <laughs> well, what's so funny about being Irish? <laughs> well, don't get your shillelagh in an uproar, honey. I was just thinking of a fasty. I pulled on a cop. A cop? <laughs> yeah, well, forget it, honey. You walking back from a little session of come on, baby, be reasonable? <laughs> no. I'm hitchhiking to Portland for a job. At 11.30 at night in the rain? Well, it isn't easy to make an honest dollar, you know. Yeah, I've heard the rumor. Frisco's where I'm unloading this heat. I can take you that far. Oh, thanks. I'm supposed to start work since I get to Portland. Oh. Well, what at, honey? Waitress or stuff like that there? No. <laughs> you are now looking at Helen O'Rourke, girl lumberjack. Lumberjack? But that ain't woman's work. Well, uh, driving a truck isn't exactly feminine. <clears throat> Touche, honey. I'm just chauffeuring this dinosaur on wheels because a buck is a buck, like the saying goes. Well, I know there can't be a fortune in driving a truck. That all depends on what you consider a fortune, honey. Well, let's have some radio. We interrupt this program to bring you a late news flash. Attention. 
local police. Be on the lookout for a 10-ton truck believed to be headed north on the San Francisco coast route. See, we're on the coast route, Maisie, aren't we? Yeah, but I ain't stopping to look for no trucks. When you've seen one, you've seen them all. The truck, loaded with Army surplus material, was stolen earlier this evening from the warehouse of the Acme War Surplus Company. Say, Maisie, isn't this an Acme truck? Yeah, one of them. But Acme's a big outfit. What's losing one truck to them? The driver of the stolen truck may be armed, so proceed with caution. She is reputed to be a member of the notorious Blackie Leonard gang. She? Well, who ever heard of a woman truck driver? She? She is described as being about five feet two. <gasps> oh, don't look at me like that, honey. I'm only five one and three quarters. She's a glamorous blonde. Maisie, you Oh, that's silly. Who can be glamorous wearing faded blue overalls? When last seen, she was wearing faded blue overalls. Oh, well, how could that cop tell it was so dark? Cop? Oh, let me out of but here. But, honey, I, I, I All want to... All motorists are requested to report to the police immediately if you've seen this stolen truck and this desperate gun mall. Oh, oh jeepers, they'll give me 20 years in jail. That is all. That's enough. Oh, dear. What are you stopping here for? You're not going to kill... Shoot me. Oh, of course not, Helen, honey. I'm no murderer. I'm no nothing. Let's get away from this heat. All I ask is that you stick by me to the end. Oh. Look. A man just pulled up in front of us. He's getting out. Oh, he has a gun in his hand. And this is the end. Good work, babe. You got that rendezvous here right on schedule. Rendezvous? Oh. Oh, the tough part's all over. You don't have to be nervous no more, Shirley. Shirley? That is his lefty's goil, surely, ain't it, Moidle? Yes, I mean, yes. <laughs> uh, pipe down, Shoyle. You don't want Pete to think his goil has gone chicken. Pete's goil? I thought you was lefty's goil. Oh, yeah, well, we keep changing fellas back and forth, don't we, Shoyle? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we like variety. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, then maybe we could be more than just uh, associates in our warehouse robbing enterprises. You know, there ain't nobody that's got a better appreciation of... Feminine putritude and Blackie Leonard. Blackie Leonard? Oh, no. Sure, sure. Say, you used to a Pete and left these miles, ain't you? Oh, certainly. I mean, certainly. Might have just screamed like that because, <laughs> well, you know how them Bobby Sockers scream for Sinatra. <laughs> you sort of ghost for me, huh? Yeah, Blackie. But I saw your voice. But, but... You heard me, Moidle. Blackie's mine, and if I catch you beating my time with him, I'll shoot you so full of holes you look like a new Buick. Now, ladies, ladies, don't fight over me, please. Till later. You know, we gotta get destructed a hideout before the cops spot it. And then, uh, baby, when we settle down nice and cozy like you and me, <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, but I got a pretty good idea. <laughs> but the Pete and Lefty... Oh, you don't have to worry about them goons. For about ten years, the cops picked them up at a warehouse. Oh, but but how did you... Know how they got caught? Yeah. Oh, I got connections at headquarters. Well, no, she meant about her, uh, the truck, didn't you, Moidle? You're Moidle, I'm surely. What was that? Uh, I said, I'm surely glad we got away with the truck after the boys was nabbed. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll be back in a sec, doll. I gotta tell the boys to follow us down. Oh, what do we do now, Shirley? Uh, Maisie, uh, whatever your name is. Well, you just gotta trust me, Moidle. I mean, Helen. And play along till I can think of a way out of this mess. But how are we gonna get out? I don't know. I've never been in a horrible spot like this. I'm counting on one thing to get us out. What's that? Beginner's luck. Shh. Here he comes now. Okay, chicks, we're all set. Uh, move over, babe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you can get going now. Uh, get going? Yeah, it's got a hideout. The boys will follow us. The hideout? The hideout. Well, Lefty told you where it is, of course. Yeah, sure. He told us, but... But, uh... Ah, now I know. Uh, you do? Yeah. After the long haul, you're tired, huh? Oh, yeah, tired. Yeah, yeah. tired. Okay, shove over. I'll take a wheel. Sure. There. I'm really exhausted. Yeah, sure, I know. It's a long haul to the hideout. You know, I'll bet when you get there, you'll <laughs> be almost dead. Well, as long as it's just almost, mister... As long as it's just almost. Well, this is it, Shoyle. 
Yeah, I heard a lot about it, Blackie. So this here's your little gray bulletproof home in the West. Uh, this joint does need a woman's touch, Blackie. The uh, wall decorations sort of clash, don't they, Shaw? Yeah. It's a little out of date, too. They ain't using machine guns and rifles in French Provincial anymore. Yeah, I guess the joint's sort of cold look. Mm. Very cold. And I and I don't think much of the painter what did the decor here. He slapped some brown paint in the wallpaper. Oh, that ain't brown paint, babe. That's just dried blood. <clears throat> blood? blood? Well, while the boys are unloading the truck, how's about you two fellows going into the kitchen and cooking up some grub, huh? Cooking? But but I can't... Oh, um... oh, oh. Now, don't give me that, babe. Lefty tells me you make hot cakes just like his mother used to make. Yeah, but you don't know what a lousy cook his mother was. Yeah. You'll find all the stuff you need in the kitchen. Of course, ain't much room to move around. I've got a couple of them uh, Navy wireless sets in there. In the kitchen? Didn't have enough room in the garage for all the swag we swiped. Wireless sets, huh? Come on, Moita, let's scrub up some grub. Maisie, you got a gleam in your eye. What's cooking in here besides food? A way out. Here, help me unwind the wire this wireless set. But we can't send messages on that. It's not connected. Well, if I work fast, it will be. You just keep an eye on the door and keep your fingers crossed. Here's where little Maisie's training in whack communications paid off. Gee, were you a whack? Yeah. And if I can't get this thing working real fast, I have a sneaking suspicion that both our children will grow up to be orphans. Gosh, Maisie, what if this doesn't work? What if nobody hears our SOS? Oh, please, Helen, don't talk. Just worry. If Blackie ever decides to come in here to see how, how our cooking is coming along, we'll be part of the wallpaper, too. Hey, Anna, how about the grub? It, it, it won't be long now, Blackie. Yeah, we're, we're flapping them flapjacks. You mean they ain't ready to eat yet? They ain't come down from the ceiling yet. <laughs> well, hurry up, will you? Some stuff. Sure, sure. Oh, dear. <laughs> Contacted anybody yet, Maisie? Huh? Please? Well, I can't tell that, honey. All I can do on this thing is stand. I can't receive. How's about it, Chef? Oh, just a couple of minutes more. We're we're also fixing some soup. Yeah, but you've been at it a half hour already. I know, but this is turtle soup, and you know how slow turtles are. <laughs> well, I'm gonna give you just five minutes more, see? Just five minutes. Oh, gosh. Jake, you and the boys finish unloading the truck yet? Yeah, boss, we... Hey, where's the skate? In the kitchen, Jake. Hey, uh, guess what they're cooking? A goose. A goose? Your goose. Here, read this. Uh, what is this, anyway? A little message I picked up whilst checking one of them wireless receiving sets we swiped from the warehouse. It's sort of interesting. Hell, let me see that. Uh... Kind of thought things was unkosher. Mm -hmm. You and the boys got the trucks loaded, Jake. We'll be pulling out of here as soon as I take care of some unfinished business. Check, Chief. Yeah. Here I come, ladies. Ready or not. No, no, don't, Blackie. We're coming out with the grub. Yeah, we're all finished. You sure are, ladies. You sure are. Here's the flapjacks, Blackie. The soup should be ready soon. I'll, I'll go back in the kitchen and wash it. Well, I'll go with you, Shoyo. I just love watching soup. No, 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 no. Please, lady, sit down, sit down. <laughs> I don't like to eat alone. Uh, but, uh, I'm not hungry. Uh, and I'm on a diet. Sit down. Uh, amazing. Got a gum. A good, good, good. Blackie don't like little good. girls sending messages for help on the wireless. A gun. Oh, he knows about... She, she fainted. <laughs> Imagine her being scared. <laughs> yeah. Now, why would you like it, babe? And the head or the back? Uh, in the back, I think. I just got a new permanent. Okay, chick. Anything you'd like to say before I let you have it? Yeah. Blackie, can I say just one word? Sure, go ahead. Help! Okay, Blackie, drop it. What? The cops. Huh? 
Like we got here sort of in the nick of time, miss. One second later, you would have been a dead cookie. Yeah. <gasps> oh! Uh, nothing to worry about now, miss. We got all the others. Oh, I didn't scream because of that. No? No, my soup. It's burning. <laughs> In just a moment, we shall return to the adventures of Maisie. Once again, here's Maisie. Well, that little caper is over with, and I'm still alive and kicking. And Blackie and the mob, they found out you can't sell government property and get away with it. That is, of course, unless you belong to the government. Yes, sir, the only thing that pays less than crime is television. Well, here I am in San Francisco with 18 cents in my kit. Won't get that dope from Charlie Till Sudsky till I get back to Los Angeles. Am I hungry? Guess I'll look around for a nice, clean restaurant and blow the bank roll. Am I worried about tomorrow? Not little baby. The way I figure, worry is like rocking in a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it don't get you no prayer. You have just heard The Adventures of Maisie, starring Anne Southern. Maisie is presented by arrangement with Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, producers of East Side, West Side, starring Barbara Stanwyck, James Mason, Van Heflin, and Ava Gardner. <laughs> Maisie was written by Arthur Phillips. Original music was composed and conducted by Harry Zimmerman. Supporting cast included Bill Conrad, Sidney Miller, Mary Jane Croft, Harry Bartell, Herb Vigran, Ed Max, and Howard McNear. Jack McCoy speaking. <laughs>